Let's talk chicken. It's been exactly a week since federal regulators gave that green light to two California companies to begin sales of lab grown chicken. Not from a farm, but from a lab, my friends. News Nation, by the way, the first network to be given access to one of these labs since the big announcement was made. And our Nancy Liu took a tour. It really tastes like chicken. Yes, indeed it does, because it is. Are you tired of hearing it tastes like chicken? No, I like that. Yeah, that's one of the nicest things. I want, uh, that's, the, that's my favorite reaction. When someone tries it and says, it tastes like chicken, like as if they're surprised by it, um, it's chicken. That's exactly what it should taste like. But Good Meat CEO Josh Tiedrich knows Americans have yet to digest the idea of cultivated meat. Just getting a nice sear on it. Things are really cooking now since Good Meat and another California company got federal approval to begin commercial production and sales of cultivated chicken. The process involves cells and vials and vats, with science negating the need to raise animals just for slaughter and consumption. Every time that we sell meat, we lose money. I'll start there. The industry expects an attitude and cost shift within the next five years as production scales up. The average American consumes nearly 70 pounds of chicken every year. But for now, the scientifically labor-intensive production of lab-grown chicken makes it well over $100 a pound. It has the same color. It has the same characteristics as chicken. Stephen Decker oversees these, cell culture these, operations. These cells were, the cells that we use, that we culture, are derived from an animal. And so as a result, it's, it's meat where we're not slaughtering the animals. We're culturing cells that there's no slaughter at all. In a society filled with processed food, ethicists say this new category may raise questions yet to be known. We kind of had this idea that this isn't the way that, say, nature um, um, gives us food or whatever. But the problem with that argument or way of looking at it is a lot of the things that we do in regards to producing food aren't really kind of natural, so to speak. Well, the long game is to move to a world in which we're not using a third of it to plant soy and corn just to feed the animals we eat. For now, cultivated chicken will only be available at select restaurants, and it'll be years before it shows up at your local grocery stores. Producers also tout the efficiency of the process, since it only delivers the parts that people eat. There are no bones and no waste, and Marky also far less chance of salmonella. Yeah, I loved in your report too, you're like, are you getting tired of people saying, does it taste like chicken? It's like, well, it is chicken. I understand the ick factor yeah. for some, but you, you liked it, Nancy. Would you go buy it in the grocery store? Yeah. Not at $100 a yeah. pound, but as it scales up, it's going to come down. And the vision okay. here is that it may eventually become cheaper than what we're paying for chicken today. Yeah, I sure hope so. I say bring on, bring it on. Bring on the nuggets. Nancy Liu, envious of that assignment. Thank you so much for taking us behind the scenes. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.